Okay, so, hi guys, you know the drill by now, you know how we're doing this, it's all focused on the form that you need. The way I'm going to go through it today uh, is I'm going to focus on uh, type 5, that's the main form for this curriculum, so the universal black belts uh, currently in the group. This is obviously going to finish off your form, so we're actually going to take type 5 right to the end, hopefully the vaccine. After Tiger 5, like in previous weeks, I will be touching on the higher grade forms like uh, Tiger 7, Tiger 8, and uh, Koryo and Bungang. But when I get to those forms, guys, I'm going to be doing a practice and a performance. So I'm going to be breaking it down. One is a recap so that you know what you should know what you're doing. And the final one is up to you to make sure you put 100% in. Okay? Because you should all know 7 and 8, you should. And then obviously for Arian and Molly and Siobhan, it'll be a test of choreo and so on. Right. Yes, that's all up, guys, from there. Please follow and jump. I'm about to start. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten press ups, ten sit ups, ten squat jumps, race here. Go. I'm going to win this one. I'm going to win it. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes! Maybe. I don't know. You were pretty fast. Oh, I lost against the phase threes, you see. So I was playing for pride on that one. Excellent job, guys. Okay. Into a gun. Stance changes. Ready? Ha! Low, set, left, that's it, yes, over, gather, out, yo, take your group forward and back. And that's the side. Set, three, two, one, and now turn. So you go out to the side, turn, out to the side, turn. And to side ten. And faster. Faster. And faster. Place that shoulder width and straight over the floor. Go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Take your legs out as wide as they'll go. Never get old, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. Sit down. Get straight out to the floor. Keep your legs straight. Bring it to those toes. Five, four, three, two, and one. Put it together. Butterfly stretch, thumb onto your toes, and stretching down. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax there. Okay, standing up. Just show you your legs are nice and loose, fully exercising them out. Please follow the string and back straight on to type five, guys. Okay, so very, very quick recap on what we've been doing over the last few weeks. Ready? From there, this forward, jump, and bow. For me, to the left, step out, number one, long stance, low block, hold it back, two, hammer fist, to the other side, step out, three, low block, hold it back. Hammer fist, make sure when you're doing that, guys, that you're stepping off that center line. Ready? Left leg stepping forwards. Inner block on the left. Prepare inner block on the right. Five and six. Seven. Kick. Land it. Back fist. And then inner block. Next move. Kick with your leg. Land it. 
back fist to the nose, inner block to the body. Step forward for the final one and back fist. Now we're going to do last week. With your back shoulder facing this side of the room, back stance, single line, step through into long stance and elbow. So back leg, step through into long stance, hands come back to meet, swing, elbow in. To the other side, sit round with the front leg, back stance, single knife, step, pull back, elbow. From there to the front one, back to the hand. Back of the roof, long stance, low block, inner block combo. So low block over your leading leg, inner block over the open side. Kick the back leg, land it in front. Now it's the other way around, low block on the right. In a block on the left. So, any questions? That's what we should already know. Any issues? Now you gotta let me know if you're struggling. Thumbs up if we're good to carry on. Good. Right. So, from there, guys, finishing off final combo. Or final combos. You've just done that low block and inner block to the back of the room. Okay? Right leg is forward, left leg is going to step up and then out, long stance to the side. That's it. Left arm, high block, right side of your body, side kick and side punch. So you bring this whole part around, side kick and side punch, land out in long stance. From there, the hand that punched grabs the target and pulls it into your adjacent elbow. Good. Let's just do that again, guys, one more time. So, right leg forward, low block, mid block. This is where you were. Yep. Step up, out, high block. Side kick and side punch on your right side. There. Land down in long stance. The hand that punched pulls into your elbow. Good. Over your right shoulder, so face back of the room as you change to the other side. Long stance with your right leg forward, high block. The same combo on the other side, guys. Left side now, go. Side kick, side punch, land, and again, elbow, the hand that punched, grabs the target, hold it into your elbow. Ready? Let's see if we can do that again. Just that, side to side. So, right leg forward. Out, little block, inner block. Ready, step up, out, high block. Side kick, side punch with the right side. Land it, elbow, hand the punch, pulls into that elbow. With your right shoulder as you transition to the other side. Long stance, high block. Side kick and side punch again. From there, land it out, and elbow. Now, Front leg steps to the back of the room. Long stance. Low block, inner block. I said front of the room, I said back of the room, you know what I meant. Low block, inner block. Back leg, kick, jump into X stance, and back fist. So you're jumping over an obstacle, by the way. Or a better visual is, you've just kicked someone in the stomach, they've gone down, and then you're jumping over them to attack someone else. <laughs> so, okay guys, that is the entirety or the last part of tag five. So we're just gonna do that combo one more time and then we'll take it all the way back to the start and practice tag five from the very beginning. You ready? So, just that last combo that we practiced guys. So just start with your right leg forward, facing the back of the room, low block, inner block on the right and then left. Come up, come out, high block. Side kick, side punch. Land it, elbow strike. Over your right shoulder to the other side. High block. Side kick, side punch. Land it, elbow strike. To the back of the room, long stance on the left side now. Low block, then inner block on the right. Kick with the right, jump into an X stance. You might not be able to do feet there. And Okay, excellent job, guys. Right. Fin oh, barrow, finish the form. Barrow, and the chair, and bow. 
Okay, so we'll do this bit together now. The entirety of type five. If you know it, you're feeling confident, go through it in your own time. If not, I'm just doing it as a reference. So if you're struggling at any point, you can also watch me. Ready? So we sort of get turn and bow and V. Type five. Is that turns left, low step back, hundreds. One walk, step back, hundreds. Then forwards, inner walk, inner walk. Back left, so kick, and back this, inner walk. Kick, back this, inner walk. Step forward and back this. And big shouts, and your left shoulder, back stance, single line. Step through, elbow, to the other side, back stance. Single line, step through, elbow, to the back of the room, long stance, low walk, inner walk, kick, low walk, inner walk, step up and out, high walk, side kick, side punch, land it out, elbow strike, to the side, high walk, side kick, side punch, and back of the room. Almost as low block, inner block, kick, jump into X stance, and bar up. So, guys, my fault. There's a shout in the final move. Okay? So, at the top of the combo moving this way, you finish it with that back fist, shout. At the top of the combo, on the end of the form, moving this way, shout in the last move. Those are your shouts. Okay. Oh well. Yeah, start shouting a bit loud. Put the noise down. I'm sorry. All right, guys. So moving on to target seven. Okay. Like I said, first round is going to be a recap. Second one is a performance. If you are not confident in your performance. Fall back on a form you know. Okay? Ready? Jen, round back. Take seven. B. Recap. Ready? Turn to the left. Tiger stance. Arm lock. Kick. In a forearm lock. Or the side. Tiger stance. On the right side. Palm on the left. Kick with the left. Inner on the right. Swing low. Back stance. In the front. Set. Swing low. Coming up, tiger stance. See so you take arm lock, bring it round, back fist to the nose. On the side, see so you take arm lock, bring it around, back fist to the nose. Feet together, energy move from your hips. Coming up, clasping in front of you, representing mountain, chill jam, so the small miss. Left leg forward, to the blocks, over the left leg. One, then two. Make sure your low block moves over your left. Step forward to the blocks. Three and four. This time finishing with the low block over the right side. Over your left shoulder, all the way around. Long stance, wedging. Knee, land it. X stance on the cut. Step back out, low X. To the other side. X block, or wedging block, I should say. Open the X into the wedging. Knee. Step it up, twin up the car, back out, low X. Feet together, back fist, open hand, kick. Land it, elbow, come up, back fist, open hand, kick. Land it, elbow, single knife, step through, side punch. Good job, land barrel. Ready? Facing this way, Jen, bow. For me, performance. Tag it seven. Chill jack. See ya. So you know what you're doing. Everything is strong, guys. Whole point of performance. Kicks nice and high. If a sibling gets in the way, just kick them out of the way. I'm joking. Don't actually do that. Don't start kicking brothers and sisters. 
My point is, is just make sure everything you do, stances as well, nice and strong. I know you're limited on space, guys. I know you haven't got enough room. But I would rather you move position, give yourself the space to perform the moves to the best of your ability, because that performance is what matters more. You knowing the entirety of the ball and being able to perform it from start to finish without a hitch is completely different from performing it brilliantly. So you want to make sure that everything is the best it can be and giving yourself the space to make that happen. When you get to the last move, barrel. Okay, so reminder, I said this last week, and I think I've said it weeks before, that is the form you can expect to get on Black Belt Green Day, guys. Okay? So Universal Black Belt is currently in this group. Okay? You can expect to get that, possibly get that, on your um, Taekwondo black belt uh, rating, right? It's not as likely as the next one we're going to do, which is tag eight Paojang, okay? But it's still a possibility. So it's a good idea to keep on top of that. If you're not confident with it, keep practicing. Okay, tag eight. Ready? Mr. Paul, Mr. Joe. And bow for me. Recap first. Ready? Left leg forward, back stance. Twin fist, like a twin knife, hold your hands. Step wider, add that punch. Don't keep moving forward, shout on the second kick. Go. Make sure you show up on the middle of the six guys. Get a block on the left hand side, double punch, right hand on the first. Then step forward, long stance, punch. Go your left shoulder, partially round. Long stance is facing that way, low block and mid block. Back leg continues around, face the other side now. Low lock becomes a, essentially a high lock before you take it into an uppercut. Step across, show that X stance transition, guys, before you step out. Long stance, low lock, mid lock. Again, stance is facing that way, but then I move the flag across so that I'm facing the other side. Low lock becomes essentially a high lock before pulling into that uppercut. Right leg. To the back of the room, back stance, swing knife, change to long stance, punch, kick, step back, step back, slide back to tiger stance, and palm block. Over the left side, tiger stance, swing knife, front leg, kick, land long stance, punch, pull back to palm block. Other side, exactly the same mirror. So, twin. Kick, one bit punch, pull back, palm. To the back of the room, twin low fist, back stance. Go are walking down, going for height, shout on the same kick, go. Switch. One bit long stance, inner block, double punch, over your left shoulder, to face the uh, side, back stance, single knife, change, elbow, Back fist, punch, feet together, step out, back stance, single line, change, elbow, back fist, punch, and roll. Even just doing a recap, guys, like that, nice and steady, you should be quite tired at the end of it if you've been pushing yourself. Okay? Practice makes permanent. Right, now performance. That was a recap. Now we're performing it, guys. Not confident with tag eight. Um, you can drop onto another form, that's true. But guys, realistically, this is a form that you've got to get good. Okay, regardless of where you currently are, because as I say, this is the most likely form you will get on Black Belt Creating Day. Make sure you know it. Ready? B, tag eight, performance. See ya. So, again, everything you do, nice and strong. Give yourself the space to do your best. If there's two of you in the room and you're getting in each other's way, you're more than welcome to take one of you to take a step back, allow one person to perform it, and then just swap places. Because the last thing I want you to do, guys, is to hold back because you're worried about hitting someone next to you. Rather that person not be there, <laughs> you understand? 
So nice work there, Siobhan. Good kicks. Excellent flow there. Just make sure you don't push those arms. Hitting those targets. That goes for everybody, guys, on that final combo. Elbow through the head, back fist on the nose, punch to the body, hitting those targets. Don't drop down too early or go into the back fist. Sit, good. And if you finish, guys, just barrel. Nice work. Keep it going if you're still going. Only ask those who have finished to relax. Okay, so I'm now going to go on to choreo. Okay, so moving on to choreo. Uh, Ewan, Aiden, Taylor, uh, Lass, Mayor, you guys are more than welcome to stick around. You're more than welcome to hang around. You just don't need to worry about this form just yet, okay? But it might be good for you to just give it a try, why not? Okay? Alternatively, you're more than welcome to uh, sign out of the room and just practice the forms we've gone through already, okay? So guys, choreo. This is mainly for Molly, Arian, uh, Siobhan, and Cameron. As I say, guys, if you want to stick around, you're more than welcome. Ready? Jen, and bow. This is a form that we should know as well, guys, so I'm going to just do a recap, okay? So from there, Koryo Jumbi, Tom Nalini Jumbi Sugi, pushing hands, ready stance. Ready? Turn to the left, back stance, swing man, right leg, low, we chamber, mid side kick, land it out long stance, reverse chop, Punch, pull back to back stance in a forearm block. To the other side, twin knife, side kick, low, re chamber, mid. Oh, that's bad on my hips. Land, chop, punch, and in a forearm block. To the front, long stance, low chop, arc hand cross, kick, low chop. Arc hand cross, kick, low chop, shout, Bang! kick, and break that leg. Over here, left leg steps around to the back, wedge and walk. Left leg, kick, land it, leg break on your right hand side this time, and pull that leg back in, wedge and walk. Excuse me. Over your right shoulder, into four side stance, facing the front. From here, single line to the left, set target, strike target, step across into an X stance, then side kick. From there, groin strike, pull up, low block, step, palm block, step, elbow. Single, set, strike, step, pull that hand to you guys, chamber, and side kick. Groin strike, low block, palm block, elbow. Feet come together, hands coming up, left hand makes the fist, striking down with your left shoulder. Reverse chop to the back of the room, pull back, low chop. Step, next strike, pull back, low chop, step, next strike, pull back, low chop, step, and finish with our hand thrust. And shout as well, guys. Barrel. Turn to raise stance. Okay. So, that was a recap. You'll be out of breath if you put 100% in. Now, performance. So, you put 100% into everything you do, guys. Black belt full. So there's no subpar choreos out there, guys. Are you ready? Off you go. Sit down. Choreo for me. Sit down. Performance of choreo. Represents Korea. It's also good to uh, understand the, uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking of? The uh, law, I guess, behind each of these forms, know their Korean names, know how many movements are in there, what they represent. Just little trivia details that can help you in gradings, in exams, written exams. Again, every performance you do, you need the space, give yourself the space. 
even if it's literally moving over here to do a kick and then moving back, even if it's something as silly as it sounds, doing that if it means that your technique is better is better than doing whole techniques too close to something. That's it. Don't rush it. You've generally got good pace, guys. From what I'm seeing here, you're not rushing, you're taking your time, you make sure everything is uh, solid, it's good. What typically happens on black belt grading days is the pressure and the nerves get to people and they just speed, they bound through their forms, they just rush through it and it just becomes a mess. So I'm glad you guys are getting that pace down. It looks to me like you're getting nice and solid. And it looks like you're very nearly done. And barrel. Remember, barrel, return to ready exactly where you started. So if you started with Tom and Jimmy Sugi, you return there. Okay? Okay, final form. Same offer from uh, before extends now to Cameron and Arian. You guys don't need to worry about coming going so much. You are welcome to stick around though to give yourself a little bit of foresight what's coming up, but you don't have to. So I'm focusing on the forms mainly now for Molly and Siobhan. So again, guys, final form. Recap, going through the moves so you understand exactly what we're looking for, and then the performance. You ready? It's four. Go! And bow. Into that jumping suit. It's normal regular jumping for this one. Starting out the left leg forward and wedging block. From there, step forward, pushing that hand forward, striking. This is a strike, throwing the side of that hand into someone's turn. Ready? Step forward, all the hand strikes. Again, try and get the arm nice and straight, the fingers to the ceiling. One more time, set and strike. All the normal stands. Now you're stepping back, you're in back stands to get that stance there. Then it's an inner forearm block where your hand is open. So it's not a strike, you're not chopping in, you're just opening the hand. Step back, inner forearm block again, back stance. So keep your stance down before you move anywhere else. Step back and back stance, inner forearm block. From there, slide that leg up, eight seconds. Hand, door. Set, ne, basta, yasta, dobra, yabla, the final second, sharp, explosive, out. From there, step out into horse riding stance, hands come back to your hip, C shape punch in, step around, C shape punch. Preparation, left hand out. You've gone left, so it's left hand that goes out, and <laughs> In a bounce of blocks, in the back straight, horse riding stance. From there, step around. Now we're facing the middle of the form, the center of it. That's where we were before, that's where we're facing. Wedge and block, slide back in, low. Now you prepare with the right hand, go out and twist in. No shout, you still want that sound. Keep those arms nice and high and pull back. Hold, oh, just right leg up. Eight second count. Hand, low, set, neck, vassal, yassal, go go. Again, yellow, explode out. Step into C shape punch. Step around, C shape punch. Hand one in the hot side. It's tricky, guys, but given the form isn't too hard on the lines, try and get these stances on line. Slide, just right back in. Another eight seconds, Hannah. Do, set, neck, dasso, yasso, dogo, yadro, step out, C shape punch, going around. And now you've gone to the right, so it's your right hand that prepares, prepare here, and stand and shout. Ready? Set your right leg around, so you're facing the middle of the form. Wedging block, slide your feet in, low. And prepare again. Going back, stamp, don't shout. From there, left leg slides in. Final time, eight second count. Ha, do, set, ne, dasso, yasso, go go, yasso. Into that C shape punch, round, and finish. Okay.
Guys, Chongyang, main things we're looking for on this, the sticking points that everyone gets caught up on, is here. You know, it's all that twist, stamping down, all about your arms, really. Most of you know how to do a horse riding stance, so I'm not worried about that, but it's just your arms. You want to make sure that your elbows through your shoulders in one straight line and that your arms are 90 degrees, okay? It'll feel uncomfortable, it'll feel like your arms and shoulder blades are being pushed together behind you, okay? Because you're having to force those arms back. Well, that's the way the form is. So you ready? you me. Also, worth a note, just make sure that when you do this spin, you're as close to that line in the horse line as you can reach. Ready? Off you go. See you Jack. Yang represents diamond, unbreakable resolve and spirit. Theoretically speaking, every form, no matter what it means, should embody what it actually represents. So this is supposed to represent something unbreakable. Everything you do should have this firm, solid structure to it, especially on these moves, this move. Nice and solid, nice and structured, unbreakable to a degree. That's it. Just try and make sure that these moves as well are nice and gradual, that there are, the arms are moving. A bad habit that a lot of people on Kung Yang tend to do when they're building up this slow motion is that they just hold it here, count eight seconds, and then explode out. You want to have that gradual build up. Something slow to something subtle. Nice and sharp to finish. Very nice there, Molly. Excellent, Siobhan. Very, very nice. Good. That's coming along well, okay? Siobhan, I think you're doing a lot better, okay? A lot uh, better performance today across all of your forms, not just uh, Kung Yang Bear. So very well done to you. Um, and like I say, I know it's quite restrictive on the space that you have, guys. But do keep practicing, okay? I think this is the last Wednesday where we're going to be doing this. So I don't think this session is going to be on next Wednesday. Uh, but if you ever need to check or us to check on your form, let us know and we can have like a private one to one via Zoom to make that happen. Okay? All right, so guys, we'll finish it properly, facing this way. So, and that, that, that. fantastic work. Keep practicing. I'll see you next time. Bye.